hi friends welcome to sql master youtube channel so this is manju here and i welcome you all for my channel so today in this video i am going to discuss with you manual testing types in etl testing okay so what are the manual testing types testing types okay so this is the thing here i am going to discuss with you so there are total nine types of testing types okay so we discuss here one by one so before moving to start the video if you're not subscribed to my channel sql master youtube channel kindly subscribe to channel to get more videos on sql oracle and database etl etl testing perspective subjects okay let us move to the slides what i made here so this is what the thing here these are the testing types okay so unit testing smoke testing sanity testing functional testing integration testing system testing retesting regression testing and uat testing so each of these one by one we can see here in brief so this is what first we call as unit testing so unit testing means within an app or web application developer build various codes in each code blocks okay there are several types of code blocks okay in each block the developer will start working on building codes so, okay as developer has need to test unit means block wise codes called as unit testing so as developer needs after coding the developer needs to check the whatever he coded is correct or not he need to test that so this is what called as unit testing the unit testing is performed by developer not by tester so next moving to smoke testing so what is mean by smoke testing here it's testing main features working or not in app or in web application or in software so here the main features of an application or you can say about software there is a need to test the main features whether the main features are working or not in brief so this is what called as smoke testing so then moving to sanity testing so sanity testing is testing of main features of app or web application or software in depth okay here in sanity testing we need to test in depth all the major features are working or not so this is what called as sanity testing so next moving to functional testing so functional testing is each unit function is need to be tested here within software so as several units or sections are present in the software so in one soft software there are so many sections or several uh, blocks units are available so for each function of each unit or each block is working perfectly or not whether perfectly or not we need to test here so this is what called as functional testing so let us move to the next one so system testing here system testing means need to check the entire system or entire software whether it's working properly with integrated blocks or not so in software there are so many blocks integrated and we want uh, some finally meaningful result from that software so whether the whole software whole system is working properly or not we need to test that so this is what called as system testing so moving to next one so retesting so this is what the thing here after tester raising the defect when developer fix that whatever raised defect by tester it is then tester again need to test after fixing that issue by developer the tester again need to test the software or code in individual blocks or individual units or he can test whole system this is what called as retesting so moving to next one regression testing so regression testing means if any modification or changes made within a software then the test need to be test is a part or full system test okay the tester need to test a part of that application or module or or he can test whole the software or system this is what called as regression testing means if we change uh, in any of the things codes by developer or we can modify the things in software so after this modification the tester need to test the things here this is what called as regression testing so moving to next one uat testing that is user acceptance test it's client side and user test okay whether the application working properly or not if a uh, client is getting some errors again he has to report for the uh, the wherever they submitted for the project so then the testers need to be test and make it correct and then again finally uh, he, they can release 
the software package to the client so this is what called as uat testing so these are the some uh, testing types in manual testing so this is what the thing i am going to explain about you uh, about the things uh, you here if you understood the properly uh, and you like the video here kindly like it and uh, subscribe to sql master youtube channel so that's a really a great motivational for me to make more videos on this regard so i will be with you in next video till that bye bye have a nice day take care